welcome to my youtube channel mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials so in this video i am talking about the engineering materials so generally properties of the materials so let us start with the re engineering requirements of the materials so basically for any branch of the engineer has to deal with the materials for their proper utilizations if it will be the mechanical engineers to deal with the different machines different cutting parameters if sometimes it will be the chemical engineers to deal with the chemicals civil engineers to deal with the constructions electronics and communication engineers to deal with the different circuit materials computer engineers to deal with the different hardware so just you can think about every engineers of any branch it always deals with the different materials their proper utilizations so for that the basic knowledge of properties and the behavior under the service condition that will be the essential part service conditions may be mechanical loading temperature increasing or decreasing magnetic field is developed not developed chemical surroundings so let us see the some of the applications of the engineering so start with the first bearing materials so just you can think about the function of the bearing so that will be used to transferring the smooth motions so bearing should be harder than low weight so considering as a low density it should be having a good physical property like dimensional accuracy resistance of the corrosion important part is a self lubricated materials now see the second applications and that will be the turbine blades so generally turbine is used to trans generating the electricity from the passing of the water or striking of the water so good impact strength resistance of the corrosion good surface finish good machining characteristics is required then good physical properties also required so resistance of impact loading so sometimes it will be having a hardness plus toughness third applications spring so maximum application of the spring in the field of engineering so generally spring, spring is used to resist the impact loading or such kind of material which will be having ability to resist to start the deformation so generally each and every spring having a different spring index number now we we'll start with the properties of the metals so basically physical properties chemical properties thermal properties electrical properties and mechanical properties so in case of the physical properties starting with the density so in the field of engineering density having a important part so density means mass per unit volume is called as a density suppose i want to reducing the weight of my components or machines so that will be help to me so without compromising with the performance or the requirement of the properties you should reduce the weight of the material so select your material like low density high strength material generally such kind of low density material it will be used into the aeronautics transportation transportation systems military applications aerospace applications so here see the different applications of the density that will be reducing the weight of your components or systems for the specific material density remains constant but it varies with the varies by the different materials second size and shape of the materials so according to the manufacturing standard that will be having a different size and shapes so dimensions of any metals reflect the size and shape of the materials so it should be considering as length width height depth curvature diameter etc so determines the size and shape specific like by the rectangular square circle or any other sections so as per the tolerance limit it will be within the limit chemical properties the study of the chemical properties of the material is necessary because most of the engineering materials when they come in contact with the other substance with which they, they can react so generally 
metals it will be reacted by the moisture environment and it will be corroded so you need to control the properties of the materials some of the chemical properties of the metals are corrosion resistance chemical compositions and acidic or alkalinity so the corrosion is the gradual deterioration of the materials by the chemical reaction when its environment conditions so you can see the corrosion act as a slow poison of the material which will be deteriorating the mechanical properties compositions can be determined by the analytical chemistry so you should measure the percentage of the alloying element which would be present into the materials corrosion resistance is the deterioration of the material by the chemical reaction in its environment so it affects both the metallic as well as non metallic materials like bricks concrete etc so with that corrosion effect that will be reducing the performance of the products thermal properties important part melting point so melting point representing as a temperature at which our metal of solid phase which will be converting into the liquid phase so each and every material having a different melting points so it is called as a temperature at which liquid and solid are in equilibrium condition electrical properties conductivity so ability of the material to pass the electric current so generally copper having a highest conductivity so that will be used to pass the electricity or run the some of the machine components so let's see some of the applications of the high conductive materials which will be used into the ac or some heat exchangers dielectric strength or you can say the reverse of the conductivity the material having a ability or capacity which stain for a longer time for the high voltage across it before it conducts and current through it so generally that will be act as a insulating material which will be provided onto that wire materials mechanical properties elasticity it is defined as the property of the material to regain in its original shape and size after the removal of the external force so just you can see onto the stress strain curve so by the increasing of the stress up to the point number a which will be called as a proportional limit or you can say elastic behavior of the material elastic behavior means the material having ability to regain in its original shape after removing the external force but it will be exceeded from the point number a to the point number b or you can say at the yield point so that will be the maximum capacity of the material which will be withstanding the stress after that it will be considering at the plastic behavior you can say plasticity means permanent changing the shape and size of the components and the point number d after the plasticity it will be converting into the fracture so separation of the body into two or more number of the part so all the ductile materials it will be first elastically deformed then it will be cross the yield point then it will be in the plastic region that means the permanent changing the shape and size of the components and after increasing the stress that will be the fracture points strength the ability of the material to resist the externally applied force or stresses without fracture so this property of the materials therefore determines the ability to withstanding the stresses without failure the maximum stress that can be any material can withstand before the destruction is called its ultimate strength stiffness so spring having a general stiffness number the ability of the material to resist the deformation under the stress plasticity plasticity is defined as the mechanical property of the material which retains the deformation produced under the load permanently or simple way you can say permanent change the shape and size of the component so this property of the material is required in forging stamping images onto the coins or you can say embossing process 
it is the ability or tendency of the material to undergo some degree of permanent deformation without its rupture or you can say the failure of the components. Ductility, so material having ability to drawn into the wire form by the application of the tensile load. So, generally wire is produced by the ductile materials. So, all the ductile materials that will be having a good ductility. So, drawn into the wire form. So, the ductility is usually measured by the terms percentage elongation and percentage reduction into the area which is often used as an empirical measurement of the ductility. If your material it will be having a more than 5 percentage of the elongation after the failure, after the failure take place. So, that will be called as a ductile materials if the elongation it will be less than 5 percentage and the material is fail. So, it will be considering as a plastic materials. So, the materials those possess more than 5 percentage of the elongations are called as a ductile materials. Malleability, malleability is the ability of the material to flatten into the thin sheets under the application of the heavy compressive force without cracking by hot or cold working process. You can see the sum of the applications of the malleable materials. So, it is specially case of the ductility which permits material to be rolled or hammered into the thin sheets. Hardness, hardness is defined as the ability of the metal to cut the another materials or you can say by the technically resistance of wear and scratches and penetration into the materials. So, generally each and every cutting tools that will be the essential part is your hardness. So, hardness is the essential part for the cutting tool materials. So, for the machining tool material must be harder than the workpiece materials. So, you can see the sum of the applications of the hardness is present into the materials. So, it embraced many different properties such as resistance to wear, scratching, deformation and the machinability etcetera. Brittleness, brittleness is the property of the material opposite to the ductile. So, it is the property of the breaking of the material with the little permanent deformation or little deformation or you can say the no deformation the suddenly breaking of your material into two or more number of parts. You can see the sum of the application of the brittle materials. So, by the technically the materials having a less than 5 percentage elongation under the loading behavior are said to be a brittle materials. Creep, when a metal part is subjected to a high constant stress at a higher temperature for longer period of time it will undergo a slow and permanent deformation. So, you can call it as a creep failure of the materials. So, generally such kind of failure it will be possible into the boiler heat exchangers. So, that will be considering as a high temperature high pressure applications and for longer period of time it will be the important part. Castability, castability is defined as the property of the metal which indicates the ease with it will be cast into the different shape and size. So, generally cast irons, aluminiums, brass are processing having a good castability. So, you can make the easily molten form of the particular metals and it will be poured into the dye and you can make the cast product. Weldability, weldability is defined as the property of the metal which indicates two similar or dissimilar metal are joined by the fusion with or without application of the pressure and it is without or you can use filler metal or without filler metal. Some of the applications of the good welding. Toughness, the material which will be ability to store the energy by the application of forces. So, it is desirable property for the structural and the machine part which will be having a withstand shocks and the vibrations. 
fatigue the failure of the materials caused under the repeated loads or stress is known as a fatigue failure criteria for selection of the material for the engineering applications let us start properties of the materials so properties generally as per the application and which will be under the loading conditions so condition may be higher temperature high pressure low temperature magnetic field non magnetic field so different kind of applications performance requirements or aerospace components so it should be having a low weight but high strength material is required materials are reliable reliable so the capable in working conditions so if suddenly change into the condition you can say the atmospheric conditions your material should be reliable so it never fails safety brittle to ductile or ductile to brittle sometimes we selected the materials as a ductile but the according to the shape and size if it will be having a longer size so it will be fails like a brittle materials so safety is a essential part for any engineering applications disposability and the recycling and the reuse of the materials so generally selected material it should be recycled so we can use for another application by some of the manufacturing process processing of the materials that will be easiest task so easily you should converting your raw material into the finished products economic factor so the cost is the important part so we always work for the low cost material which will be having a good strength good performance and good durability and that will be easily converting into the raw material into the finished products final topic the engineering requirements of the materials so engineers of any branch once again the proper utilization of the material is important so you should always follow the under the service condition or under the loading conditions of the materials an important part fabrication requirements means with minimum cost you have to converting your raw materials into finished products cost is minimum otherwise you can see the effort is minimum service requirements so service is considering with the safety performance of your applications and finally economic requirements of the materials so thank you very much if you like it then subscribe like and share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials